in this video we're going to be making this gorgeous granny square now this pattern is from this book just here the pocket book of crochet squares which is a really lovely mini magazine and this magazine came alongside crochet society box 38 if you haven't heard of crochet society it is a subscription box where you get a lovely surprise box full of yarn crochet hook stitch marker, extra bits to go with some projects and also an extra gift as well. It also comes with this mini magazine where you have your uh, makes within there for patterns that you can create. So it's a really lovely fun way to get some new pattern ideas, learn some new techniques. Now they currently have some pass boxes available for just £10, including this one and some others as well. So I'll leave a link in the description box so that you can go and take a look at that. But let's go ahead and get started with this granny square. So this square can actually be made in two different colours, however I'm just going to do it in one single colour today. And if you get the magazine, the mini magazine with the box, then um, it will give you instructions for doing it in two different colours. But this is what it looks like if you choose to change colour. So let's go ahead and start with a magic ring. We want to lay our yarn over our finger like so. Wrap it round your finger so that you have an X on the front and then you have two strands on the top of your finger. You want to go underneath that first strand and then pull that second strand through, twist your hook and then you're going to grab the working yarn and pull it through to make a chain. That just secures it and makes it easier for you to remove um, your finger from the magic circle. So first of all for this pattern we are going to begin with a beginning cluster. So that starts with off with a chain two. Now we've already done a chain one, so we're just going to chain one more. And then we're going to yarn over, insert into that magic ring, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, two loops on the hook, and then yarn over again, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, you will be left with three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. We then have a pattern repeat and we're going to make eight of these clusters in total. So what we want to do is chain two and then work a normal cluster, which is yarn over, insert into the magic ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. So that is our second cluster. We'll repeat that again. Chain two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through all three. And that is our third cluster. So you're going to repeat that chain two and cluster until you have those eight cluster stitches, and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so I've just worked my way around. I've just done my eighth cluster stitch. I'm going to finish off with a chain two so that we're creating a chain two between the last and the first cluster. I'm going to cinch in my magic ring and then I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that beginning cluster and that is round one. So now that you've joined with the slip stitch we'll move on to round two. We actually want to turn our work at the end of round one and we're going to slip stitch into the next chain two space, like so. And this is just going to move us into that space just there. We're going to start off with a beginning cluster, so that's chain two. 
and then yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook. We're going to chain two, and then we're going to move over to this next chain two space where we'll work three treble crochets. So remember I'm working in UK terms. In the US, this is known as a double crochet. So it's yarn over, insert into that next chain two space, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, you'll have two loops on the hook, and then yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. That's one. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's two. And then yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. That's three. We're now going to move over into the next chain two space. So we'll chain two, and then we're going to work a set of stitches to form the corner here. So we're going to do a cluster stitch, a chain two, and a cluster stitch all into the same chain two space. So it's yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, you're left with three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook, chain two, and then work another cluster stitch into that same chain two space. We're going to chain two, move over into the next chain two space, and work three trebles, one, two and three, chain two and work those corner stitches again, cluster stitch, chain two, cluster stitch. move over into the next chain two space, chain two, and then three trebles into that next chain two space, two and three, chain two, and work those corner stitches into the next chain two space, so cluster, chain two, and cluster. Chain two, three trebles into the next stitch, one, two, and three, and when I say stitch, I mean this chain two space as we've already been working in. And then chain two, and that brings us to this beginning cluster. So in the same chain two space as the beginning cluster, we're going to work a cluster stitch, chain two, and then join with a slip stitch into the top of that stitch. And there we have our round two. So if I just point out here where these cluster stitches and chain twos are, if I just pull it out like this, you can see the square and those clusters and chain twos form the corner spaces, whilst these sets of three trebles here, here, here and here form the sides of the square. So we're going to turn our work again and move on to round three. We'll slip stitch into that next chain two space. That just gets us into position. And we'll start off with our beginning cluster. 
So we'll chain two and then work cluster stitch. We'll then chain two and then into the next chain two space, we're going to do two trebles. So one and two. We're then going to work one treble into the next three trebles. So into the top of the stitch, one, two, and three. And then work two trebles into that next chain two space. Chain two. And then we're going to work the corner. So I'm going to use this as the start of the pattern repeat. We want to work that corner with a cluster stitch, a chain two, and a cluster stitch. We'll chain two, work two trebles into this next chain two space. Work one treble into the top of the next three trebles. One, two, and three. Two trebles into the next chain two space. And chain two. And then you will start that pattern repeat again by working the corner section into this chain two section between the cluster stitches. So you'll do it once and then twice more. That will take you up to this last chain two space just before your beginning cluster. So go ahead and work that pattern repeat twice more and then meet me back once you're ready. So now that you've done that pattern repeat twice, you're at your last corner. We're going to chain two and then work cluster stitch into the same chain two space as your beginning cluster. Chain two and then work and join with a slip stitch to your last cluster stitch. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work and then for rounds four to seven, we're going to repeat round three. So you're going to slip stitch over to the next chain two space, work a beginning cluster, Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through all three, chain two, work two trebles into that next chain two space, one and two, but this time, and for the following rounds, you will just have more trebles to work across until you get to the next chain two space. So last time we had three, this time we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then for the next round, you will also have more as well. So it's exactly the same as before, just more trebles in this center section, which creates the edge. So working into those trebles, all the way up to that next chain two space, two trebles into that chain two space, one and two, chain two, and then you have your pattern repeat. So working into this corner chain two space here, we'll work a cluster stitch, chain two, 
and a cluster stitch. Chain two, work two trebles into that next chain two space, one and two, work one treble into each of the next trebles up to the next chain two space. Two trebles into that next chain two space, chain two, and then you can repeat that pattern repeat again from the corner section. So you do that twice more, one and two, and then meet me back once you have done your last two treble crochets in this chain two space followed by your chain two. Okay, so now you've worked your way around, you've done your last edge and your chain two. We want to finish off this very last corner. So this is where our beginning cluster is. We're going to do a cluster stitch. Chain two. Join with a slip stitch. Turn the work. And then repeat that round again for round five, six and seven. You can see this pattern starting to form here now. So go ahead, pause the video and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so this is what your work should be looking like after your round seven. We'll now move on to round eight, which is the last round. We're not going to turn um, at this stage. We're just going to continue working in the same direction. We're going to chain one and then we're going to do two double crochets into the next chain two space. So this is a UK term. In the US, this is known as a single crochet. So into that chain two space, yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through, both loops on the hook. That's one and two. And then we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch all the way across to the next chain two space. So go ahead, pause the video, work those double crochets across the next chain two space. You should have 23. And then meet me back once you're ready. Once you've done those 23 double crochets, you're going to do two double crochets into the next chain two space, one, and two, miss a cluster, and then do five double crochets into this corner space. One, two, three, four, and five, and then miss a cluster. And then you're going to start from your two double crochets all over again. So if I just turn the work here, we started off with two double crochets into this chain two space, 23 double crochets across the trebles, two double crochets into the chain two space, miss a cluster, five double crochets into this corner space, and miss a cluster. So you'll repeat that another one, two, and three times so you'll end with your five double crochets into this corner space and then meet me back once you're ready okay so once you've worked your way around and you've done your last five double crochets into this last corner you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first double crochet and then you can go ahead and fasten off and then all you have left to do is just weave in your ends. You may want to just block this out just so it sits nice and neatly uh, to stop any curling. But it is an absolutely beautiful granny square. And if you like this granny square and want to go ahead and try a few different ones, then you might enjoy this video too.